Hi, today's topic is all about shin splints. Now, if you've ever experienced shin splints before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Aching, discomfort in the fronts of your legs, sometimes the sides or back of your legs. It can be extremely painful and can quite literally stop you exercising and doing the things you love. If you've developed shin splints, it's really important to look at the muscles. So to find out where the pain's coming from, you can do things yourself like try some remedial massage, go and see someone who specializes in dry needling um, and acupuncture, like a podiatrist or a physiotherapist who can actually help you release a lot of the tightness in your muscles. Um, it's also important to look at the shoes that you're wearing to make sure you're wearing uh, supportive shoes for the activity that you're doing. So if you're running, making sure your shoes aren't worn out um, and that you have a, a really good supportive pair of runners. And if you're going to work, making sure your work shoes are supportive enough and not flimsy. You know, nine times out of 10, when someone comes into my clinic complaining of, of pain, a lot of the time the shoes will tell a big story. So if you can just get that right, you'll notice a big improvement anyway. Um, and then it's important to look at insoles. So do you need something off the shelf? If you do, obviously you can try something like sink sole, like ours, which is neutral and safe um, for many foot types. Um, or you might need something a bit more specialized from your podiatrist or um, physio, something a little bit more customized for you um, that supports you as you need for your, for your shin splints. Um, another thing that can help you through the, this period as well is kinesio tape. So I love a lot of kinesio tape and that's a nice stretchy tape like rock tape and other tapes you can get from the pharmacy. And you can actually tape your shins up with that tape. You can use a foam roller um, so a foam roller at home to really like roll out the tightness through those muscles. You can use things like heat balms, magnesium creams, Epsom salt baths as well, which can help um, to really help release a lot of tightness. Um, and then hopefully if you start with a few of those things, you should really help to see some improvements. And if problems persist, make sure you see a health professional. I hope you found those tips helpful.